Welcome to Maximum Guitar Readings. My name is Dr. Yudi Arupe. I've been away for some time out of the reach of my guitar, so I've really missed you guys. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning duets. A lot of people have asked me to do a lesson on duets because duet is very important both for readings and improvisation. So without wasting time, let's jump to it. So we are going to be learning a very simple duet pattern and that is uh, the third above the melody notes, okay? There are so many types of duets, but we'll be taking it one after the other. You know, there is this one, the third above the melody note, a third below the melody note, or some people can call it sixth, you have a fifth. And others but today we'll be talking about a third above the melody notes so let's demonstrate with key D already you know the scales so if, if you have not watched the video on scales the different positions of scales you better go and watch it now I'll drop the link in the description and hey if you are new to this channel hit that subscription bell right now and subscribe and do leave a comment if you find anything confusing please Use the comment section to ask your questions so that others can learn. And if you feel there is a way I missed it, you can call my attention to it. Okay, so we learn every day. All right, so let's jump to it. So using key D, this is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi. So I'll be stopping here. Then do ti la so fa mi re do ti la so fa mi. So we we'll try as much as possible to harmonize all these notes. Okay, let's play the so fa horizontally this way. Do re mi. Do. So, la, ti, do. Can you see it? Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So, take note of the intervals. If you have not watched the video, I also drop the link in the description. So, go and watch it now. Intervals, degrees, and scales. Okay? So, we'll try and harmonize it horizontally. Then we'll try and harmonize it vertically. So this is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Se, La, Ti, Do, 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 Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So this is vertical, this is horizontal. So let's go with the harmonization. The first one is Do. Do is a major chord. So the third will be a major third. So remember, we talked about major and minor chords. All right, so the third will be a major third. The re will be, will have a minor third because re is a minor chord, all right? So do, fa, so are major chords. Why re, mi, and la are minor chords. Why you have t as a diminished chord. So the only difference between major and a minor chord is a flattened third, okay? Then a diminished chord also have a flattened third. 
and a flattened fifth. But since we're only playing duets and thoughts, so the T will have the same shape with Mi, Re, La. Is that clear? So, so our Do, this is one, two, three. Do, Mi, Do, Re, Mi. So this is our Mi. And this is the duet there. So our Re will have this shape. Okay? A fret in between the first and the second string. So the same shape for me being minor two. So Fa, this is Fa. Fa will have the same shape with Do. So will equally have the same shape with Do being a major. Then La, like we described earlier, we have the same shape with Mi and T we have the same shape with La and back to Do. So which is the octave? Do, T, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Now let's harmonize vertically. So this is our T. Do, T. Now, when you look at the shape of the T here, you see that there is a, a fret in between. But when you're playing between the third and the second string, the shape changes because the B string is tuned a semitone down or a fret down, if you can say that. So it means that the third will move a fret up. So if we have our T shaped this way, when you come here, do T, you are not gonna play like this. Instead, that T will shift up. So do T. So La will take the same shape. Remember, Re, Mi, La, and T have the same shape. So on this second string, they are gonna take the same shape. T La. Now so remember that so was shaped this way between this first and second string. So here, the, between the second and third string, the Mi will move up a semitone. So here we have so. Oh, sorry about that. So we simply use our index finger to bar. Then, but between the third and fourth string, the rule follows. The same shape with the se uh, first and second string. So we have Fa, Mi, Fa, Mi, Re. Or you can play the Re this way. Re. Can you see it? Do. Okay, we'll stop here for now. Okay, let's apply this to a rhythm and see how it goes. Uh. Okay. One, two, three, go.
<laughs> I see your dance jumping up and down. Yes, that's what you can do with this. and enjoy yourself. Come on, let's go. Don't forget to subscribe to Maximum Guitar Readings. I love you guys. Bye.